Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from anthonymorganti.com. This is episode 61 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about a feature of Lightroom that's been in there since Lightroom 6, Lightroom CC, that a lot of folks either never knew was there or they just kind of forgot about it. And the reason why I bring this up is because I receive quite a few emails from folks asking me about it. And you notice the last several uh, Lightroom Quick Tip videos have been concerned about emails I receive, uh, people asking me. So I figured this might be a good video to do to help explain it maybe a little better. Specifically what I'm talking about is when you're using either the graduated filter or the radial filter, quite often you don't want it applied everywhere. You want to take it away from certain parts. And as I mentioned, since Lightroom 6 and Lightroom CC, you now are able to do that. And I think a lot of people either forgot, as I mentioned, or they just never knew it was there. So I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to use the graduated filter as an example. Again, you could do this with the radial filter as well. But in this case, I want to darken the sky. So to start with, I'm going to reset these sliders. And the easiest way to do that is just to double click where it says effect. And that will reset the sliders. Now, I'm going to really overdo it so you could really see it in the video. So I'm going to bring exposure way down, bring highlights down, clarity way up. And a Let's try that for starters. So I want to darken the sky. So I'm going to start in the corner here and I'm just going to drag out. I'm going to go right across the entire sky. Now you could see when I did that, it really darkened the building as well. Well, we don't want to darken the building. Well, what you could do if you have Lightroom 6 or Lightroom CC, if you see over here uh, where it says mask, at the far right, it says brush. All you need to do is click on brush and we'll be able to brush away the effect from the parts of the picture we don't want the effect to be applied now if you look at the brush currently it has a plus sign in it that means if i do make a brush stroke like right here i'm actually applying it i don't want to do that i want to take it away so to take it away you either could click right here where it says erase or you could just in what i this the way i do it is you hold the alt or option key and it would be the alt key if you have a mac or i'm sorry alt key if you have a pc Option key if you have a Mac, and you can see the brush turns into a minus, and it switches to a race. Now, in this case, I'm going to start out by going along the uh, top edge of the building. So I want auto mask on because I want to try to make sure I'm only taking it away from the building but leaving it on the sky. So if you notice, when the alter option key is not pressed in and we're on brush A or B, that is going to be checked. In this case, it might be different on your uh, computer. When I push in the Alter Option key, it's not checked. So make sure you look at it when you have the Alter Option key pressed in. So we're going to make sure that's checked. And we're going to get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key. And I'm just going to go along the edge of the building to begin with to kind of brush out the effect. So I'm going to go across that building pretty good right there. Now that it's, you know, I got the edge taken care of, I am going to get a larger brush and I'm just going to kind of more quickly take it away from the building everywhere in this path there. Now, real quick job there. Now there are some limitations to this. You can see these trees here and we kind of have, you know, the sky behind the trees. Now what's going to happen here, even if I get a smaller brush, it's going to be tough to make the trees brighter but leave the effect on the sky. You're going to kind of do stuff like this. So there is a limitation. You need pretty solid object to remove the effect. So what you could do is you could try to, you know, Use the plus brush and the minus brush in conjunction with one another to try to make it look better. You might not be able to though. So you're just gonna have to do your best, you know, your you know, best you can, let's say, to try to make whatever you need to make brighter, brighter. And that's it. That's how you would do this to try to remove your either graduated filter again or the radio filter from parts of the image you don't want it uh, applied to. And again, uh, I know I covered this in previous videos, but 
obviously people didn't see it or they forgot about it because I get emails all the time about this. So I hope that helps. It gave you some tips maybe using it that you didn't realize uh, that you could do. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.